right, all right, all right. Welcome to how to pay and reserve for a spot for a fitness class. Um, this is going to be kind of the same process for a lot of different programs that we have and that are starting back up throughout this COVID time. So um, we're going to be using reservation, reservation systems for not only fitness classes, but also reserving a spot in Buchanan or Wolf using cardio or weight equipment. So um, this is going to be kind of the same along those lines, but a little, a little bit of them are all different. So let's go ahead and get started. So we go ahead and enter in our um, evergreenrecreation.com, bring us to our website. And down here, we're going to go to online registration. Go ahead and click that. And then we're going to go ahead and sign in. If you have an online customer account, you know your login information. If you don't, you can click down here and create a new account. We also have a video for that if you want to check that out. Check that out also. So Peter Parker is going to go ahead and get signed in. Confirm that we are not a robot. Identify some traffic lights, and then we'll hit next. And then sometimes it might ask you for a couple times. So the crosswalk photos. Verify. Beautiful. And log in. All right. So to get to where all the fitness classes and information are, we're going to go up here to activities on this top bar. We're just going to hover over this. And we're going to go down here to fitness classes, and we're going to click on fitness classes. All right. Once we get to the fitness classes page, you'll see here we have a few different options of different fitness classes that we can um, buy a spot for and reserve a spot for, whether it be an outdoor in-class person or if it is an online Zoom class, and you'll see that in the description here, whether it be for Zumba and Tone, whether it be for Total Body Fusion. And you also have the options to either pay drop-ins, which are labeled also in the description, but you can also have the option to pay for a whole week of classes. Um, and you can check out our website too for the difference in those fees. So whichever is working best for you, just make sure that you are registering for the right thing. And you'll see over here too, um, before we go ahead and add it into the cart, we can actually click on check for detail, check details for fees. And it'll show you a little bit of a breakdown if you live within our tax district, how much it'll cost, or if you do not, as well as the age of the participants that we can allow in a fitness class. It'll give you the dates and the times, as well as the location. Um, and a little brief description down here. Now, if you are doing a Zoom class, um, once you register, you will get an online confirmation co email with a link to the class for that week or just that specific day so you can participate. So make sure that you have your email to enter it in correctly. So, yeah, we'll hit add to cart. Awesome. And it's going to ask us just to make sure that we are participating in this activity as ourselves, or in this case, Peter Parker. If you have a different family member, you click that drop down arrow and that would show up here. But we only have Peter there, so we will move on. And we'll hit next. And here you'll, you'll be brought to your first kind of price breakdown page it'll show you the line item that you're paying for and see one spot $13 with a total and if you want to go ahead and register some Peter or somebody else for a different activity you would go back down here and it's going to put you through the same prompts before you go ahead and proceed to your shopping cart but just for 
this scenario, we're going to go ahead and just proceed to our shopping cart. All right. And from this point, it's going to show us what we're registering specifically for, the total amount. We can click this to see, again, that same information we were just looking at. And down here, if you go ahead and click this, it'll actually bring you back to um, the beginning of the process to edit your person. So if you feel like you want to enter in a person differently than you originally did, you can click this button here with the little pencil. Or if you want to just delete this line item altogether, you can hit the trash can and it'll delete the charge. Over here, you'll see the order summary. It has the $13 subtotal for the activity as well as ActiveNet's $2 processing fee for online registrations, bringing us to a total of $15. So we're going to go ahead and hit checkout here. Now, if you have previously a credit card saved on file um, or even multiple, those are, those are going to show up here above um, the blank spot where you would enter in the information for a credit card but in this scenario peter does not have any saved credit cards so because peter in this is, this is a phony account i actually don't have any credit card information to enter here but you would go through the scenario of entering in your name your card number um expiration date and then the three digit code on the back if you want to go ahead and store this card for future use you can click this box here um there's, there's kind of some descriptions on the safety uh, security of your saving your credit card here but you also want to make sure down here that you have the correct billing address that's associated with your card and if you need to enter in a new payer you would click that down here also once you've enter, entered in all that required information we're just going to go up here and hit pay on the right hand side You'll get a confirmation that says you've paid for the class and um, reserved a spot. And you'll also receive an email that says you have paid and reserved a spot also. And yeah, that is how to pay and reserve a spot for a fitness class or fitness classes. And we'll see you next time.